guests. I'm here today to tell you about America. Something so great that it can create mass amounts of wealth, and at the same time, lift people from poverty. It's a miracle that's blind to race, religion, and creed, and can bring peace to where there's conflict. And I have no better way to explain this miracle than the simple example given to us by Milton Friedman and Leonard Reese, using the simple pencil. In 1958, Leonard Reese wrote the pencil. It's a funny little thing. So simple. Yet there's nobody on this earth that knows how to create. I know that's a, a strange thing to say since pencil exists, right? I'm holding it. Someone created it. But playing the devil's advocate, imagine you were to set out to create a pencil. Mm -hmm. What would you do? Well, you'd probably need some wood. So maybe you mosey off to the Pacific Northwest, maybe Washington, cut down some trees. Well, how do you cut down trees? You need a saw. How do you get a saw? Well, you need steel. To get steel, you need a steel mill. To create steel in a steel mill, you need iron ore. To get that, you mine and on and on and on. So to create a pencil, you would need to know almost everything there is about iron ore, its conversion to steel, forging the steel into a tool, and you'd still need to cut down the tree without crushing yourself. Mm -hmm. And if you did that, well, you still have the problem of black stuff. Called lead. Turns out it's not lead, it's actually a mixture of graphite, clay, water, heated at a very specific temperature, and forged into a rod that is placed in the center of the pencil. Where would you get the graphite? From my reading, I found that most of the graphite is extracted from mines in South America. So you take another trip there, find a mine, figure out how to extract it. From there, it's a simple process of mixing it with clay, heating it up, forming it into a rod, and somehow placing it in the camp. And if you were to get that far, well, you'd still have the problem of this little rubber tip. Now, from what I understand, the number one export or num number one export of rubber is Malaysia. So another trip, you maybe go to a rubber tree farmer and steal one of the trees, somehow first the rubber into a little tip and put it on your pencil or an eraser. And then you still have the problem of the little fast, I'm not sure what it's called, probably aluminum or something, but how would you make that? So the point is correct. Nobody in the world knows how to create pencil. But the pencil itself isn't the miracle. The miracle isn't that nobody knows how to create. The miracle is that despite this, it exists. When I went to the store yesterday to buy, I haven't bought pencils in a long time, I bought a pack of 25 pencils for $2.50. Wow. Excluding taxes and all that stuff, you're looking at about 10 cents a pencil. But something extremely important happened when I scanned my card. I said to hundreds, maybe thousands of people across the world, the logger in Washington State, farmer in Malaysia, that I will enter a transaction with you. I will trade you two to three minutes of .NET development time for your efforts so I can have a pencil. And I did it because I'm better off. But that doesn't answer the question, how did the pencil get made in the first place? Was there a government agency in Malaysia forcing the farmer to secure a certain amount of his rubber plant so he could have an eraser? Was there a police force in Washington State regulating the amount of lumber so we could have an exact amount we need to supply every person we need? Of course not. These people did it. They entered into this transaction with me because they felt they were better off for it. And it's the same reason that I entered the transaction. In fact, if you were to look at the thousands of people involved in creating this pencil, you would find people of different languages, different religions, different locations, different languages. You would find people, if they cross each other in the street, they'd want each other dead. <laughs> Yet somehow, they all get together and cooperate peacefully, willingly, to create for me a pencil. So what is the machinery that allows this to happen? It's something we hear a lot about today, something that gets a lot of criticism. It's something called the free market. So whenever you hear arguments, specious arguments, about the failure of the free market, how it needs to be re regulated, how it's failing, it's the 
bane of our existence. It's causing all the problems. I want you to take a step back and think about the pencil. How simple it is. How no one you know or I know or what we meet can make it. Yet, for the free market, it exists. So, 